While the events in Yucca Mo's Season 245 were happening simultaneously along with the original series Into the Night, and hence we've seen series clashing with the original one at some point. Who found information about Sun's polarity and her information reached a secret bunker named Stara 17 in Bulgaria. This was the same bunker Yuma and Silik mentioned in the series. While trying to find about Daphne, they picked up a voice over the radio that belonged to cosmonaut trapped in Russian space station. The same signal was picked up by Jakub in the Into the Night Season 1. In Season 2, a missile destroyed Bulgarian airport, while another one destroyed Russian planes near their bunker. But who triggered the missiles was not revealed it because that Yumut has ordered his loyal man Alton to target these places as he did not want anyone to reach the Doomsday Vault in Norway. But during the final confrontation between Arman and Yumut, Arman revealed that he knew about the two missing mi missiles which Yumut probably triggered to bomb the someone. This further also suggested that maybe it was Yuma who triggered those missiles to sabotage Captain Matthew's mission and fuel an enmity between the Russians and the Bulgarians. What a twist! A move it was, before, but after selfish intentions were revealed to the crew, the second command Yonka ordered it arrest and Arman requested Yonka to en route the ship to Norway to recover seeds and help with the, and help of Rana and Felix, they would be able to grow their own food. On the other hand, when all of them came out of the submarine and went towards the vault, they noticed survivors from Bulgaria near a vault's entrance. Arman still ran inside the facility and happens to see chaos inside as everyone inside has lost hope of leaving Norway as their plane was destroyed by a psychotic woman. In the next heated scene, we see Ayaz blaming Arman for prank and the effect it has caused, therefore decided to shoot him to make him pay for it. Arman took the bullet, but he didn't die by the end of Yakamo's S245 Season 1, which means there is still hope for this return in Season 2. Now, as Arman and his team came to surface, Silik inquired about Umut, who was locked inside the submarine. While Umut tried to convince Silik to unlock him, he further added it might have a devastating effect leading to death and destruction at this point. Yakamo's S245 merges with Into the Night Season 2, and here on it will, ex it will further explore the fate of both Armand and Submarine crew, as well as Captain Matthew along with other survivors. So we'll surely be having Into the Night Season 3 or Yakamo's S245 Season 2. Stay tuned for more information and like our video and do comment your thoughts about this series.